Hi, my name is Louis Gong. And so what I want to do today is share some basic information about how to make a shoe that reflects your identity. Tip number one, you have to have the right materials. And the primary tool for me to use are these Fabric Mate fabric dye pens. Uh, you can achieve a really nice uh, fine line with them. They're also fairly inexpensive. So they come in two different kinds of tips. There's a fine tip that looks like this and a big fat tip if you have a lot of space to cover. Also, I really like to have uh, micron pens. If for some reason you're not getting as nice a line as you think you'd like to have with the fabric dye pen, if you have a micron pen, you can go through and really make it look just perfect. Also, you're gonna need a pencil and also use a basic pink eraser. And this has a lot of uses, um, which I'll also talk about in just a second. Even brand new shoes from the factory that are wrapped up just like this uh, sometimes look very different. Some of the things that you want to pay attention to are um, the composition of the shoe and sometimes this wedge shape along the side will be a lot bigger on one side than the other. And if the shoe's uh, composition is off, that will throw your design work off. And also, you want to make sure that you don't get a shoe that's been tried on several times. Um, after a while, the fibers on the shoe um, start to get frayed. And when those fibers fray, it makes it more difficult for you to achieve a really nice fine line with your, um, with your fabric dye pen. One thing I want to say about the pencil is the lead should be fairly soft. The last thing you want to do is start pressing harder and going over more and more times because, as I mentioned before, the more uh, the shoe gets worked over, the more those fibers start to fray. All right, so now that I have a good looking pair of shoes and my pencil and on standby are my fabric dye pens, the fat tip and the sharp tip, it's time for me to start uh, working on the shoes. And the first thing I will do is uh, sketch out the design and then I'll just transition into using the fabric dye markers. So I think I'll take this opportunity to talk a little bit about um, where I'm from and my artwork. I'm Nooksack, Squamish, Chinese, French, and Scottish. Both the Nooksack and Squamish tribes are in the Coast Salish uh, cultural group. And so the art form that uh, typically comes out when I sit down to work on a pair of shoes is Coast Salish. Although, you know, I reserve the right to uh, incorporate elements of other kinds of artwork, and I often do that. But this particular shoe that I'm working on um, is going to be a Coast Salish style eagle. All right, so it's really important to know when to call it quits. <laughs> you don't want your shoe to look too, uh, too worked over, but I think I'm done now, is the shoe and uh, it's time to erase the pencil line. Along the same vein of not wanting to fray the fibers on the shoe, I want to give you a warning about erasing your pencil lines. Don't do it until the very end. It's the very last step that you do um, is erase all the pencil lines on your shoe. Last tip, tip number five, is that if you find yourself with a blotch uh, on the sole of your shoe from the fabric dye, don't panic because usually you can take your eraser and uh, go ahead and just with a few strokes erase it right away. So a supplement to this tip number five is that if it's still looking dirty, you can go ahead and take a cotton ball and some nail polish remover or some acetone. You can clean up the sole um, so that it looks just perfect. And there it is completed one completed eagle shoe. Tip number one, make sure you have the right materials. Tip number two, check out your shoes to make sure they're in good shape. Tip number three, use a dull, soft lead pencil. Tip number four, don't erase the pencil lines until the very end. And tip number five, clean up the sole with your eraser when you're all done.